Hey YouTube, what's up? I am back with another video. I always said that I was gonna try to upload a new video about like every week. Um, unfortunately I have been lagging a little bit and I do apologize for that, but <laughs> like last week was a whole moment and I was sick and now I'm feeling better. So here I am and I was just like, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about today. Like I knew I had some topics I wanted to talk about, but I was just like, I'm just gonna set up the camera. I have a little show and tell like I have before and just talk about random things that I'm like into right now. Um, so I am, it is, we are now in July. It is July and I'm going to have a no shop July. I just have to. I feel like I've been spending way more money than I should be or possibly make. <laughs> I only have one job and I'm just like, I need to be more like smarter with my money as many people in America should be. But that's a whole nother topic. But you know, you just get like drawn in with those sales and those promotional emails. And I'm just like, I just need to turn that email off because this is getting wild. But it's all things that I've like wanted. It's not like I'm just like randomly buying 19 boxes of cereal and like stocking up like something perfect for TBS TV or something. It's just like things that I've like always wanted. You know what I mean? Like I brought, um, a fragrance I had always wanted. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna get it. And I got it on my, like my Nordstrom card. And I'm just like, mm, reel it back in, honey. Reel it back in. And so I'm reeling it back in for July. I'm not spending any excess money and shopping online, which is like one of my things. I love shopping online and I just have to stop it. I gotta stop. I gotta put my priorities in line. I have a wedding that I'm attending in October that I'm also being a part of so I have to save up for that like that costs money to travel to New York you know what I mean thank god it's not in like Europe but <laughs> it's expensive so yeah I'm having a no shop July and I'm looking forward to it see if I can like you know reel it in see if I can control myself some bit of self-control practicing that and yeah we'll see how it goes but before I jump into that um you know physically actually jump into that metaphor what you know what I mean uh, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I'm really into right now um ciao it's interesting it really is um but first I really want to talk about candles because as everyone knows I love a candle um but part of that story is about Aldi why do people like Aldi well, if you're not familiar with Aldi, maybe it's not in your area, but it is a grocery, like a supermarket that is, I think they came along trying to be like, you know, a budget supermarket, but I swear the prices in there are not that great, one, and two, they charge you for everything. Like, okay, so there's an Aldi not that far from me, and I was with my parents, and I was, like, passing by, and I was like, hey, can you stop at Aldi? I want to, like, you know, just check it out. So first thing I noticed is that when I got out of the car, a lady was like, hey, you want a shopping basket? And I was like, oh, no, thanks, I'm good. She was like, are you sure? I was like, no, but I'll take it back up there for you. It's like an old lady. So I was like, I'll take it back up there for you. So I took the basket back up there, right? And I just pushed it up there, and, like, people were, like, looking at me, and I was like, yeah, whatever. So <laughs> the basket up there. I didn't realize the reason she was asking me if I would like a basket is because they charge you for a shopping cart, y'all. A shopping cart. I think it's like 25 cents, which isn't much, but why are you charging people for a shopping cart? It's crazy to me. So when I went into there, there was like a smell of like you know when you go into like a produce area and it kind of smells like bad fruit or vegetables? Like it was just that smell in there. And granted, I had my mask on too. And I could still smell it. I was like, oh, well, this is not a cute smell to walk into, but whatever. The main reason I went into Aldi um, was because in the candle community, I had seen people talking about Aldi candles and how affordable they are and like, Apparently, they smell good. And I'm just like, hmm, well, I'm passing by an Aldi, so let me stop it. So as I was, like, looking for the candles, I was also looking at the prices of, like, their, like, vegetables and, like, just, just all their stuff. And I'm just like, dude, the prices are really on par with, like, if you went shopping at Walmart and you wouldn't have to buy, you know, pay to rent a basket, pay for shopping, like, paper shopping bags that have even no handle. Like Trader Joe's gives you shopping bags for free, but no hand, with a handle. So I'm just like, why are people shopping at 
guilty. I did not understand that. Anyways, so I finally found the candles because that's, I was just like looking around. I was like, I'm definitely not buying anything else in here. I found the candles. The candles that most people talk about from Aldi, I was just like, they just feel comparable to like a Baths and Body Works candle. And I'm just like personally not into that. Um, I've tried Baths and Body Works. Trust me, I'm not trying to be bougie, but I've tried Baths and Body Works and they're just like not really for me. Like there's something about their scents that are just like too like, I don't want to say serp, like serpy, serpy? But they're like kind of too dense. Like the like w the wafting of the scent is just like too dense. And I love a strong scent. And I'm not saying that it's a strong scent when I say dense. There's just something about it is too like condensed. And I don't know. I don't like them. Anyways, so I found the Aldi brand candles. And I forget what the brand is that they sell. Um, I'll try to like put it here or here. You know how I do. Um, but I was not into them. So I was just like, I don't like these candles. I think I bought one of their small ones. I think it was like Nero Neroli White Sand or something. And I was like, mm, this was a small bag. It was like $2.50 or something or $3. And I was like, I'm just going to get it. I think they were on cl clearance actually. That was a like some great things on clearance they're like home um like i even bought a can not a candle warmer i bought a wax wax warmer um so you can use like little wax cubes and so i'm excited to like use those i've actually started using those what am i talking about and it's actually like great you just plug them into the wall you buy your little wax cubes whatever scent you like and you just pop it in there and oh my god you can just like leave it on forever there's no soot there's no fire girl that's a whole nother video in and of itself i love it Anyways, those were only like three dollars on sale, so I got myself one. Actually, I got myself two: one for the living room and one for the entryway. <sighs> Cute. Um, and I got my mom one too, just in case she wanted to try it out. She was like, "Oh my god, thank you!" And I was like, "Yes, mom, duh, gotcha." So, um, yeah, I bought those. It was three fifty. But then, as I was looking at more of the candles, because they actually have like a pretty wide selection, I was pretty surprised. They have like the different like, um, I guess it would be like series or like whatever collections the different collections of their candles um and they all come in like different um vessels and i came across one that i thought was pretty cute and the reason i think it was cute because it's dual use and i love a two-in-one so i was just like oh okay hi girl now you know i love a plant and so i found this it is a terracotta planter candle. It is a two-wick candle. It comes with the base. This one I still have packaged because I had to show you guys. It comes with the base, which you can like, you know, um, for draining the water through. I was just like, oh, this is cute. And this scent is orange blossom and rose. And y'all, this candle's good. This candle, she's good. I was surprised because when I, uh, and when I smelt it, I was just like, wow, that's a good scent. Now compared to all their other scents, which are pretty much like, just like meh, um, this one was just like, whoa, it like really spoke to me. And it's really cool. So yeah, the name of the company that they, you know, you have their candles under, is called Huntington Home. This one is the Orange Blossom and Rose Scented Candle. He gets that. Yes. Um, it says, reuse me as a plant pot. Chrysanthemum seeds included. So it comes with seeds for you to plant in here once you're done. I was smitten. I believe this candle was higher than their other ones. I believe it was like $7.99, which I'm just like, that's still so affordable. So I didn't have any high expectations for the scent once I burned it. But I was just like, if the scent sucks... Like, not the scent, but the throw, the performance of the candle. If the performance and throw sucks, at least I got a terracotta pot to reuse. And I'm so excited. I was so excited. I was like, oh, I can't wait to get these home. Um, I actually bought two, I think. No, I bought this one and I went back for two more. Because I was just like, that is so affordable. So, I burned this candle when I got home. She's good. 
which is good. If you have an Aldi in your area I, and you love candles, I suggest you just go to Aldi and pick up one of these. And especially if you like plants too, because you can reuse it as a planter. And girl, that's what I did. I reused mine. Um, I was finally done with the other rose one that I have. And they last a good amount of time too. They last a good amount of time. They have a good throw. I speak volumes about this candle. So yeah, and I emptied it and I used it as a little planter. Look at her. Now this is a little, um, a little propagation that I did. It was a water propagation and she was doing super well. She grew some roots. And I was just like, oh my God, I love her. So I put her in here in this little vessel. I also have like a little quartz stone in there, you know, for some energy. And I keep her in my window because she's just, you know, she just transitioned from water to soil. Um, so I still want her to get like, you know, the full light that she was getting previously. So I'm hoping that she does really well now that she's in soil. I see a new little leaf popping out there, if you can see that. <laughs> but yeah, I can never tell where the actual camera is, but whatever. Um, she's doing good. She's looking good. And I love this. And like I said, it comes with the like drainage tray. Super cute. Um, and then I also had to make actual holes in the bottom so it can drain properly. Really into it. It was really easy to do the holes too. I just took like um, a screwdriver and a hammer. It didn't shatter anything. I'm very happy with this candle. So like I said, those are from Aldi. Don't understand why people shop there. But if you like a candle moment and you just happen to have an Aldi nearby or in your area, pick it up because it's really good. I'm into it. Now moving on. I have quite a collection of candles. And so I had seen people in the candle community talking about candle warmers. And I was just like... Part of a candle experience is the wick, you know, flickering and being beautiful and lighting up your space and ambiance. Hello. I love ambiance. But at the same time, I do have some weaker performing candles and some candles that I'm just like, I don't really want to burn this anymore because it's too sooty. Hate a sooty candle. So, I was like, I want to try the candle warmer situation. Some of them are kind of expensive. And I was just like, I don't want to try it for like $20. No. So <laughs> I um, came across a listing um, for um, a shop I will not name because they're kind of problematic, but I was just like, I just want your cheap candle warmer. Um, and they had them for like 50% off. So this candle warmer ended up being like five or four dollars. And it is such a simple design. I was like, if this does not work, whatever. I was like, why not try it? So I got it. Actually, about two. And I don't regret it. <gasps> yes, I do not regret it. I <laughs> for the price of what this was and for what it does, I am into it. And I suggest you try one too if you um, feel the need to... If you like for your home to be fragrant, but you don't always want a candle burning, because candles you have to keep an eye on. You have to, um, you know, make sure you trim your wig. There's care involved with candles, and some people aren't really into that. I actually love the care into candles, but I don't like a candle that does not perform well, nor a candle that I have to, like, watch its progression of being possibly sooty. I don't like soot. I don't want to deal with it anymore. So <laughs> some of the candles I've gotten, I'm just like, you are too sooty, leave me alone, or you don't perform very well. So those I have brought out from my collection in order to use on the candle warmer. So this device warms it from below. This is basically like kind of like a hot plate and it warms the candle from below, it warms the vessel, which melts the wax from the bottom to the top. So once that wax is like melted and warm, the, it releases the fragrant oils from the candle. Love that. So the wax does not um, evaporate like it does when you're burning a candle traditionally with the wick um, because it's not like, you know, burning. It is just heated. Like the entire wax is heated and it's just evaporating the oils from the candle. I think it's amazing. I'm really into it. 
so yeah <laughs> I was just like I am into this candle warmer I'm very into her so I tried using it but actually one of the Baths and Body Work candles that I decided to try it's called Vintage it's from their men's collection um but yeah this one's called Vintage and I still barely got a scent from this to be honest but I did get more of a scent from it being on the candle warmer than I did from burning in the wick. And as you can see, if you decide to use a candle warmer, you basically have to not burn that candle again, the traditional candle burning way. Because the wick does loosen the glue from the bottom, the wick loosens and it travels around the like wax so you can't burn that candle again so if you ever decide to just put a candle on a candle warmer make sure you just do not burn it again so anyways this one had some interesting notes it's basically inspired by like traditional men's cologne like there's notes of like amber and like a bit of leather but it's mostly like a warm amber fragrance in my opinion yeah, so there's barely any scent left in this, but it was a pretty good warm scent. But like I said, it still didn't perform very well. I had this one in my bedroom and it didn't perform very well. I wasn't too into it. And so I just like went ahead and let it burn and do its course. And there's still a little bit of fragrance left in it, but I'm like, it's not really worth it. So I'm trashing this one. I'm over her. And I don't really need to keep this vessel also because that's another good way to like, you know, use your candles up so you can use the vessel. I'm not into her. So this is one of my empties and I'm throwing her away. Um, The next one that I used it on was my Too Blessed to Be Stressed candle. <laughs> So this candle I bought because I was just like, these candles, who are they by? They're Jill and Alley. Jill and Alley makes great cam candles in my opinion. And they were on sale for like 25, originally like 43. And the thing about them is that they're two wick candle. And um they have like crystals in them. The crystal in the terracotta pot that I showed you earlier actually is one of the crystals from this candle. And I was just like, oh, this smells good. And I had it on my desk um, for work because I was going through a very stressful time, girl. I don't even want to talk about it. So I was just like, I'm going to definitely put this on my desk at work and I'm going to light it every day before I start because I am too blessed to be stressed. This says it's for light, for harmony, healing, and stability. So yes, um, the notes are woody sage and sea salt. I put this on the candle warmer in my desk area because I have one over there. I have one in my desk area and I have one over here um, in my bedroom. And I like her. She was good. She performed good. I was just like, once the wax melted, it was like, you're done. So I had actually burned this candle to just this amount of wax. So I was just like, candle warmers are really good for me. You have like that little bit of wax, but you don't want to keep the candle burning and then it just becomes a soot fest. So I decided to use the candle warmer on this one to see how it performed with a little bit of wax. Performed great. She threw. I was very into her. I love her and I like this vessel. So I think I'm going to keep it and use it for like pencils or something on my desk because my desk has like a very, it has, a, it has an aesthetic. It has like a pop art meets 80s, 80s pop art like aesthetic. And the colors definitely match this. So I'm going to keep this vessel. Love her. Um, the third one, so girl, I'm gonna have to do a video on Kringle candles. Yes, Kringle, because Kringle is so interesting to me. I swear, every, I watch YouTube videos before I buy things. Yes, I do, and I've said this before, and that is one of the reasons I like doing YouTube videos is so that people are conscious of what they buy. So if you wanna like look up a video on like a Kringle candle or an Aldi candle, I have some reviews on them and I have my honest opinion because I am not an ambassador for any of these companies. I received none of these candles for free. Nothing I'm showing you today I received for free. And these are my honest opinions. So Kringle Candles. Y'all, most of the videos about Kringle Candles, especially in the last year or two, has been so positive about Kringle. I was like, I must try her. So 
I tried her when they had their cannabis candle. I think they had like relaunched it. Um, so their cannabis candle sounds so good. I don't even smoke, but I love the scent of cannabis for some reason. Um, cannabis, their fragrance was from their reserve line, which is their more like higher line, um, higher quality wax and things. I actually have one near me. It's from their most recent one. It's called Midnight Garden. I might do a video on Kringle for sure because I do want to talk about all the candles that I did purchase, which was kind of crazy. But they keep having like really great sales. And that's another reason why I'm no shop July. I don't care what sale pops through. I'm not buying another candle. But um, the cannabis one was so great. Or it is so great. I have to like reel it in and not burn it too much because I want to like keep it. And like they're sold out of them. Um, It's great. It performs amazingly. So I was like, I want to try some of their other candles. Citrus and sage spoke to me. I like a citrus scent sometimes, especially in the morning. And I absolutely love sage. So, bought it. Burned it. Barely gave me anything. I was very disappointed. I did not like the scent that much. But I was like, it's okay. Because also, it was pumping out, like, so subtle. Like, the performance of the candle was not what people are like, oh my god, it's so good. Kringle's amazing. And I want them to be amazing. And I guess some of their candles are amazing, but this one was not. So I <laughs> burned it in my bathroom, which is a smaller space. And one thing I will say about Kringle candles, they burn clean. And that is one thing that's very true about their candles. There is no soot in this jar at all. Amazing. No soot at all. And I love that. So... Yeah, I decided to put this one on the candle warmer and it did good. It did really good. It lasted a while. And I don't know if it's their like wax blend. It is a hundred, it's supposed to be a hundred percent soy wax, but there's something about it that like some of their candles when you burn it with the wick does not perform as well. And I was just surprised. Luckily their candles aren't too expensive. Of course, when you move up to the reserve line, it's a bit more expensive. But I burned this on the candle warmer. She did great. So yeah, I highly suggest a candle warmer if you're really into candles and you have a collection. So you can find a cheapy one. I found this one, um, like I said, for really cheap. But I think they sell the same brand. It's just called Candle Warmers, child. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to focus. But yeah, it's just called Candle Warmers. And yeah, check them out. They're pretty good. Um, I was surprised. I'm definitely going to burn probably like one of my um, dip tea candles. Because again, dip tea, y'all talk too much positivity about dip tea. Dip tea ain't that good, child. So I might burn one of those on the candle warmer and see how that one pumps through. Because one of them I have got so sooty. Y'all, don't waste your money on dip tea. There are better candles out there. Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. So, another purchase that I did was... So, I have a pair... Anyone that knows me knows I love Insta Pumps. Reebok Insta Pump sneakers. I've done a video about Insta Pumps before. This is going to be partially another one. Um, I have quite the collection of limited edition Insta Pumps that I found. Um, and they keep releasing more limited edition collaborations. The thing about Insta Pumps is that a lot of people don't like them also. But I have a... I wear a size 13. So 13s are sometimes the first size to sell out because they produce less of them, which is so annoying. And then you'll see like a size 9, a 10, or 8 just sitting there forever. But I digress. Um, so whenever there's a new launch, I have to like jump on it if I want that particular shoe. Anyways, so this is going to go two ways. Boop. So... Go into the Insta Pump first. Show. I was randomly on the Reebok website and I saw that they had released an Astro Boy Insta Pump. Yes, you heard me right. An Astro Boy Insta Pump. I was shocked. Apparently, they did a collaboration with Bait and Bait did a Astro Boy collection. Astro Boy has been one of my favorite animes since I was a child. And I don't even mean the modern Astro Boy, because I grew up in the 80s. I mean the actual, like, Japanese Astro Boy-derived um, 
straight from the comic book. And they did a collaboration. Can you see that box? <laughs> yes, they did a collaboration with Bates and Astro Boy. I was like, I have enough shoes, but I had to get these. I absolutely love Astro Boy. They are so, like these shoes are so, I love Instapumps. Ever since I was a kid, love Bjork in them, and I am so happy with this purchase. Da -da. Like, they are beautiful. Do you see them? And they glow in the dark. Like, I love circuitry, circuitry prints. Love. Another reason why I love Astro White, I love robots and, like, that type of, like, retro-futuristic technology. Um... And aesthetic, and these have a whole circuitry print all over them. They also have, I've worn these like once, they have like this, oh, like this chrome, um, I forget what this is called, fiber, not fiberglass, it's something, um, plates underneath. I am obsessed. And the circuitry print, like I said, glows in the dark. On the back it says bait, and then it has Astro Boy in Japanese. I am obsessed and love. Love, 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 love these. They're so cute. Um, adding them to my Insta Pump collection, which I have so many. The insole is also really cool. It's Astro Boy. And the other insole, oh, love Astro Boy. He's so freaking cute. The other insole is his circuitry body. So they really went in with this collaboration. I am obsessed and in love. I love it. Um, even the paper, trying to get this out, it keeps sticking to the inside. The paper, oh, I'm saving it off. The paper is also Astro Boy. I don't know. Ah, it's so freaking cute. So yes, I, I think I still have them on the website. I did not use a discount code for these, which I think I didn't. But hey, these... These are one of my, like, gotta be my, like, most cherished Insta Pumps. Another pair of Insta Pumps that I have, and I have had for years now. Um, is it years? Yeah, years. Time goes by so fast. That's a whole nother topic. Are my Vontmonts, Vontmonts, however you pronounce it, the Vontmonts um, Insta Pumps, which I found resale for really, for a really good price. <laughs> I was like, wow, cute. And they were my size. And I like actually did a um offer and the seller totally took the offer. They are the ones, I'll put a picture here, the Insta pumps that have like the it looks like someone scribbled all over them, but black, just with our black marker, which is so ridiculous. But I had to have them. They come in the Vontmont box and everything. I love. I don't have them here with me right now. They're in my closet, but I digress. Anyways. I always wanted the socks. I always wanted the socks to go with the Vontmont pumps. And I had bought some previously from like a seller on Etsy or something. Not even Etsy. It was like another website. But they spelled it wrong. And I was like, oh, this is fake. They were so bad. And it was spelled like V-E-T-M-E-N-T-S. And the seller had totally posted them where you can't even tell that it's spelled wrong. I was like, dude, I Trash. These are total trash.org. I cannot wear these. So I returned them. And I think they're only like $15, which I sort of saw as a bad sign. Because these socks are so overpriced. They're like a hundred and something dollars originally. Until now. Now they're on sale. After all these years, they finally decided to put them on sale. And girl, I got a pair. Um, so I actually got two pair. They're on sale for cheap. Cheap. I got them from um Sense and <sighs> these are the socks, child, which will go so perfectly with my Astro Boy Insta Pumps. So cute. Look at that. Look at that. I'm obsessed. So yeah, one thing I will say is I don't understand why people pay because when these first came out, people were actually buying them. They have the Reebok logo on the back, and then they have Vontmont at the top. People were buying these full price. And I was just like, no, ma'am. I ain't not paying that much for a sock. It's a sock. And I have quite a few socks. I love a cute sock. I feel like it completes an outfit. But that was too much. So, 
Luckily, I found these and they were so cheap on sale because I guess some people weren't buying them or maybe they just like bought the company um, that I bought them from, bought too many and wasn't able to sell them all. So they went on sale. And there's another pair. So cute. Love these. With, like a pair of slats or something. Very cute. These are called the cut off ones. They are cute. I love these. Um, so yeah, I found them on sale. And now I'm having a no shop July. And I am sticking to my plan and hopefully it works out. And yeah, I mean, I could talk about a couple records that I bought before July came. Okay, I will. Just real quick. <laughs> I actually ordered this from, you can see my previous video. I didn't talk about this one because it hadn't came yet. I actually ordered this one from overseas and it's the Bobby O album, which is called Freedom in an Unfree World, obsessed with the cover and the tracks on here are some I hadn't heard, like I Cry For You, How To Pick Up Girls, which is so fun and ridiculous. All people are the same. I am obsessed with the sound of Bobby O. So I was happy to find this one and the same seller he was I think oh Germany Germany I don't mind purchasing items from Germany I feel like the shipping and everything is so like comparable to shipping within the U.S. price wise and even time wise um so I went ahead and got Divine's first album also love um and this one is produced by Bobby O as well Bobby Orlando and it's just so Good. It's so ridiculous. So fun. So yeah, I had to have these two. Um, and yeah, and now I'm not shopping. I'm sticking to it. Not doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know down below. Hopefully I'll be pumping out more videos soon. I want to do like a little office tour. And yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Definitely like, subscribe, and comment down below. Bye.